President Vladimir Putin, as you know, is presiding over the Victory Day celebrations, overshadowed by Russia's battle in Ukraine. Of course, confrontation with the West and fears of new attacks at home have overshadowed the Victory Day parade celebrations, which are much more subdued this year around. More than 78 years ago, the Nazis surrendered to Allied forces with the signing of the instrument of the surrender in the outskirts of Berlin. Nazi Germany accepted defeat at the hands of the Soviet Union and other Allied powers. Now, to commemorate the event, Moscow is awash with red flags. As you can see, these are the visuals coming in from Moscow where the Victory Day Parade is taking place. As I mentioned, Moscow washed with red flags, St. George's ribbons and other Second World War related symbols as well. It's Victory Day in Russia and some other former Soviet nations as well. Security of course ahead of the parade had been beefed up in the capital. All eyes of course on the Grand Parade here. Victory Day in Russia is celebrated on the 9th of May. The erstwhile USSR wanted to wait till the official document was signed by German authorities in Soviet-controlled Berlin. By the time document was signed, it was already past midnight, which is why Victory Day is celebrated on the 9th of May in Russia. However, the pomp and glory that you see right now on your screens, that was not always the case. The Victory Day was not always celebrated with similar pomp and show. It was only in 1965 the USSR leader then made 9th of May a national holiday. In fact, President Vladimir Putin has often been credited with elevating the scale of the event in its present form. And of course, this year, President Vladimir Putin presided over the celebrations overshadowed by Russia's battle in Ukraine. This year, the Victory Day Parade in the shadow of the Russia-Ukraine war it has prompted the officials across Russia to scale back the celebrations, the country's biggest parade outside the Kremlin on the Red Square. Of course, it's still a show of military might, one that displays rows upon rows of carefully choreographed soldiers marching. You can see these visuals and weapons ranging from vintage tanks to intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now the Victory Day Parade also it comes after a wave of strikes across in Ukraine this year.
The victory day is one of the most important public holidays in Russia when people commemorate the huge sacrifices made by the Soviet Union during what is called the Great Patriotic War of 1941-45 to in which about 27 million citizens died. Well, these are the visuals that are coming in. We will continue to bring you the latest from Russia's Victory Day Parade and the celebrations that have been scheduled through the day. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.